Hello students, welcome to Pravega Education. My name is Alok and I am co-founder at Pravega. So students, I am going to announce this new series on YouTube channel, our YouTube channel of Pravega Education. Uh, so this announcement is regarding that. I am going to start uh, this uh, Electrodynamics by David J. Griffith. You know that famous book. So I am I will be explaining uh, small all small topics of uh, important topics of David J Griffith and followed by the problems. So those who are interested in learning electrodynamics for their undergraduate or postgraduate course, they can join this and they can subscribe our channel to. Uh, get the videos immediately they are posted on our YouTube channel. So students you know uh, introduction to electrodynamics by David J. Griffith is one of the very very important book on electrodynamics and I would say it is the uh, most famous book on electrodynamics and uh, Professor Griffith is uh, professor at Reed College and uh, this ha book has been very very famous uh, when I did my undergraduation or even before uh, every student knew about this book. So I will try to explain uh, each and every chapter, I will discuss each and every problem and uh, I will ask you to write on the comments if uh, you want to discuss anything and if you want to uh, from my side if you want to uh, uh, any topic uh, for that I can make a video for our YouTube channel that also you can recommend. So this edition fourth edition uh, you can take it as a reference because there are many editions of David J. Griffith and student I will recommend you to have a hard copy of that book of this book so that you can follow it very very easily okay. So the book starts uh, and in the preface itself uh, it is written that uh, there are many different subjects in physics for example quantum mechanics, for example thermodynamics, statistical mechanics and for example electrodynamics. So in topics like quantum mechanics or statistical mechanics a lot depends on teacher how he takes that course. I mean what should be the sequence of the topics from where to start, where to end, in the chronological order what should come first, what should come later on. So all these things are very very different for different teachers. But in electrodynamics uh, almost uh, you know there is a consensus on which topic should come first and which topic should come next and uh, the continuity is very very perfect. So actually this topic gives inspiration to all other topics. Uh, all other topics are inspired by the uh, construct of electrodynamics and even uh, I have read somewhere that even quantum mechanics is inspired in terms of structuring the subject. Quantum mechanics is also inspired by electrodynamics. And uh, so there is no, uh, I mean, confusion regarding the continuity. That is the best thing. So he has been very generous in saying that in all the textbooks you will find the same content. But actually that is not the case because this book consists of many, many good problems. And the topics are also explained in a great manner. So, but he has said that uh, content wise almost all books on ED are same. But uh, what makes uh, a difference is the style and tone. So I would like to tell you that in this book the style is so awesome, so good that you will be never bored. Just little knowledge of English is required because sometimes some words are used. They may be very common there but in India we don't use those words very very commonly. So you may check now it's very very easy to see the meaning. Okay. So uh, his approach is less formal so I mean it is like a two way talk I mean while reading the book it will appear that the author is talking to you okay. 
so then these three points are very important regarding these books uh, for vectors he has used x cap y cap and z cap notation so this uh, gives uh, a very uh, comfort because sometimes i is used for current and j is used for current density k is used for surface current density so he has preserved those symbols for other usage so this x cap y cap z cap is very good the next thing is while using different coordinate systems in different topics you know uh, sometimes you are confused whether it is r of spherical polar or it is r of cylindrical so he has separated that by using s for cylindrical coordinates okay and the third thing is we have three things one is your origin second is your source and third is the point where you want to calculate some quantity for example you want to calculate for example you want to calculate uh, uh, electric field magnetic field or uh, you want to calculate uh, magnetic vector potential so there is a confusion what is origin what is source and what is that point so he has used different symbols for that so for example r r dash and this script letter r so these three different uh, symbols are used and it is very very helpful uh, while doing the problems because sometimes you are confused whether r dash or r and what should be the third r capital r you can't use because that is the radius many times of a sphere so he has used a different uh, letter r so while doing the problem i will explain you the importance of this so let us start with i will build up slowly and slowly uh, starting from the uh, first chapter and i will try to finish it consequently on on the youtube okay thank you so much